So today in this video, I want to show you guys how to install mods for Ready or Not. Now, there's actually two ways you can do this. The first one, there actually is a way to do it in the game. They recently implemented a way on the main menu to install certain mods. Now, here on the main menu, down on the left, you can see where it says mods. And the Ready or Not developers actually have implemented something from mod.io. And this is basically a way to get third-party mods into the game without actually having to go to external websites. So this is one of two ways to get mods for the game. Now, as you scroll through this list, you can see there's different levels there's different guns there's different skins there's all sorts of things on this list here and this is nice because it does make installing mods pretty quick and easy for example if we wanted to update one of our sites to this one here we could just click subscribe and then you would have to restart your game and it's good to go and if you don't want any mods that you've ever installed you can just go back into this menu here and click unsubscribe restart your game and it'll be gone the only drawback of using this is there's not as many mods as you could find on the internet so let's go ahead and go over how to get those mods now one quick thing to keep in mind is under options under game scroll down and you'll see the server side checksum box if you're playing co-op and don't have this checked and you have a different mod and your friend has a different mod or vice versa or whatever the case may be you won't be able to connect or something might not work because you don't have this checked make sure this is checked and you'll be able to play online regardless of the mods each player has now, when it comes to a level mod or a custom level that you've downloaded, both players would need to have that downloaded regardless of this button being checked. This really is going to be mostly for cosmetic mods, but it's still going to be good to have on. All right, so the first thing we want to do is let's go ahead and make a folder on our desktop called Ready or Not Mods. Now we want to make a shortcut to our Ready or Not directory folder. So to do that, open up Steam, go to your library. Now over here under your installed games, right click where it says ready or not and go down to properties, head over to local files and then browse. Now, once this shows up, you want to head over to this ready or not folder. Then you're going to see binaries, content and plugins. We want to go into the content folder and in the content folder, you're looking for the packs folder, right click that and send it to your desktop as a shortcut. Now you can close out of that folder and close out of Steam. So now we have the mods folder we made and we have a pack shortcut folder as well. Open up this packs folder and just double check your directory to make sure you got the right one. It should be Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Ready or Not, Ready or Not Again, Content, Packs. If that's correct, go ahead and close out of that. Now, when it comes to installing mods, there are a few options. We can use mod.io or we can use Nexus mods. Now, personally, I enjoy using Nexus mods a little bit more than mod.io. While you can find the same mods on both sites, I find Nexus mods to have a bit more variety. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and use Nexus mods. So over here on Nexus mods, the first thing we want to do is make a free account. You can pay for the premium version if you want faster downloads, but I find the mods are not really that big so they shouldn't take more than a few minutes to download now once you've done that scroll down a little bit and you'll see browse all files click that button right there and then right here under games type in ready or not and hit enter at this point you'll be in the ready or not section and you can actually sort over here by different file names unique downloads popular i always like to sort by most downloaded just to see what is the most popular now whatever mod you find on here whether it's a level mod or a cosmetic mod our process here is going to be the same so for the sake of this video i want to go ahead and download this food wall remake the good old classic swap for map now once on this page over here on the right you'll see download and I want to go ahead and manually download it. Since I have a free account, I'll just click slow download. Now, once that's completed, head over to your downloads folder on your PC and go ahead and just pull that out onto your desktop. Now, before we're able to actually do anything with our download, we will need to have WinRAR installed to be able to extract it. So install that if you haven't already. Now, once WinRAR is installed, we can now open up our download. And in this folder, you're looking for the pack file. In this case, it's called packchunk99 mods underscore food wall release two. We don't need to worry about anything else in this folder. Just take that file and drag it to your desktop. So this right here is our map that we just downloaded. It's a pack file. 
Now, because I like to download lots of different mods all the time and different cosmetics, different levels, all sorts of different things, I like to organize these before I finish installing them. And that's why we have this ready or not mods folder we had made. So in that folder, I like to make another subfolder called maps and another subfolder called cosmetics. So this is just the way I like to organize my mods just in case something didn't work and I needed to delete it or reinstall it or I want to take something out and add something different. I don't have to re-download the mod. I just have a copy of it in another folder. You don't have to do that, but it definitely helps when it comes to organizing all these mods you might end up downloading. But anyways, to actually install this, we want to open up that pack shortcut folder. From here, all we need to do is just drag and drop this file into this pack folder. As we can see, it's right here. We can close out of that folder and let's go ahead and launch our game. Now from the main menu, go ahead and start a session just like normal. Head over to the main table where you would select a level. And down here on the bottom right, we can see our mod has installed correctly. Now on some mods, they might replace a previous level that's already in the game. So for example, this is normally where the farm map is, but in this case, it says ready or not underscore farm underscore core. That's actually not the farm map. Another modded map that I downloaded took place of this pin. So to get the original farm map back, I'd have to delete that other mod from that pack folder. But in this case, our mod showed up as a new pin so we can click that confirm location head over to the carpet and load in and make sure our mod installed properly now if it's the first time you're loading up a custom mod sometimes the game might freeze for a little bit as it kind of loads the map tries to make pathing for the ai so if it freezes just let it sit there for a little bit it shouldn't take more than 30 seconds to a minute to actually load into the level if it takes any longer than that something might have went wrong and you might want to restart it but as you can see we loaded in just fine the good old classic swap for map food wall now, a quick note on the bots when you're playing on a modded map. A lot of times they don't work as well as they do on a regular map that's already in the game. Sometimes their pathing gets weird. Sometimes they can't actually open doors or clear rooms. So just something to keep in mind. Now, a couple more quick notes for the end of this video that might come in handy down the road. If you've already finished a level or you don't want that mod anymore or you want to change something out, all you need to do is head back into that pack shortcut folder. Look for the mod that you don't want anymore in this case we don't want that food wall map just right click it and delete it and then close back out relaunch the game and that mod should be gone now if you change your mind and you actually do want to reinstall that that is why we made that ready or not folder with the backup of that map so we don't have to go back to the internet and re-download what we want so that's pretty much it. It's really not that difficult to install. There's just a couple steps and a couple folders that we need to make sure things go in the right folder. There's all sorts of different mods, cosmetics, maps, all sorts of different things to try and download and just see what looks good. If you guys have any other questions or you're stuck on anything, feel free to leave a comment and I will help you out as best as I can. Recently, I've been posting a lot of these modded maps that you can download that I've been finding from mod.io and Nexus mods. Check out some of my other videos. If if you want to see a demo of those before you actually take the time to install the map yourself and aside that i'll see you guys in the next video